Babesiosis is a tick-borne illness that mimics malaria. It is extremely rare, but experts say the surge in ticks is putting more people at risk. One scientist says the illness, which can be fatal in some cases, is underreported because it's so hard to diagnose. News Center's Vivian Lee talked to a mom of an 11-year-old boy who has this, and she joins us now with more. Yet another one, huh, yes, to worry about. One. It's a case, we hear a lot about babesiosis, but again, it is very rare. We know it's being carried by ticks, and even in kids, it's even more so. There were only two cases reported to the main CDC last year. Jack Manuel suffered from debilitating flu-like symptoms that continued to get worse, but it took months for his mom to finally get some answers. Over the past year and a half, Christina Hogue took her son Jack from doctor to doctor, trying to find out what was wrong with him. He had aches, pains, and flu-like symptoms that wouldn't go away. Constant nausea. He was just ill. He, it, was, it was just watching your child decline and, and feeling pretty helpless, not being able to do anything. During a trip to Disneyland in March, the 11-year-old couldn't walk because of the pain. He was in so much pain. Um, his legs that I actually had to rent a wheelchair because it was excruciating for him to walk around the parks. After that trip, Hogue was determined to find out what was wrong with her son. Her doctor ordered a blood test, which found that Jack had babesiosis. He said that it is, um, it is like malaria, it's from a tick, and that Jack his blood work, it was just red flagged on his blood work. The disease is caused by a parasite similar to an organism that causes malaria. It invades and destroys the body's red blood cells. Jack's grandparents were also diagnosed with the same disease. He must have got it here, which of course is not necessarily true, but still, you know, you feel like, wow, I don't want any of these kids to get it. We've got a lot of grandchildren. And so we decided to start spraying the land. Dr. Megan May is a professor of microbiology and infectious diseases at the University of New England. She says the ticks that spread babesiosis are usually found on rodents, such as field mice. And the fact that three members of Jack's family have the same disease may not be a coincidence. She says babesiosis is difficult to diagnose because many people weather the disease with no symptoms and end up getting better over time. For others, it can show up as flu-like symptoms, people with weak immune systems.